and endeavor to extend a warm greeting and establish communication with the legendary crime fighter known as Batman in an effort to convey respect and admiration for his heroic endeavors in protecting Gotham City from the clutches of evil and ensuring the safety of its citizens. The surroundings were illuminated with bright lights. Friends, I finally finished and assembled a Mega Xenon flashlight. Today we will be testing in field conditions. What an incredible flashlight. I can't believe it weighs 10 kilograms. It's truly remarkable. Let's go over the characteristics of this monster. The basis of the flashlight is a powerful xenon lamp from an IMAX movie projector with a power of 7 kilowatts. She is powered by 48V, but for her burning, a voltage of 3000 V is needed. You observe large tungsten electrodes in close proximity. Big is advantageous, while small is disadvantageous. Inside, xenon gas is pumped at a very high pressure, over 10 atmospheres. When the lamp is on, the pressure keeps rising. To make adjustments to the focus, an internally installed mirror parabolic reflector is used from the Soviet film projector KP-23. A substantial amount of turning work was also performed to create a highly accurate focusing mechanism. I printed the main body of the base on a 3D printer from several parts. Here you can see a compartment for six batteries. A total of four powerful 6R lithium polymer batteries are utilized as the main power source. I connect them sequentially. It turns out to be 48V parallel. I created this block by myself earlier. However, for this occasion, I opted to use the KP23 film projector. Inside, you see a ZVS driver, powered by 24 volts. He is needed to energize the high voltage transformer. When rotating, the parabolic reflector smoothly rises or lowers, depending on the required beam type. I will demonstrate the spark to you, and then we will proceed to establish the focus point of our attention. Adjusted the focus to a minimum, I will make the necessary adjustments and slowly turn it up. I can't understand anything like that, it's too short a distance. Super cool and incredibly amazing. Now I will take the camera as far as possible. And I will strike the sky with precision and unwavering focus, determined to reach new heights and surpass all limitations that stand in my way. The entire thing is radiating light from within. Arriving, it was different. Friends, I moved away from the workshops a bit. Here is a house that was recently built. No one lives there yet. I'll try to shine there. And in the distance, you can see the far left house. There are no lights on there either. I will try to hit there or not. Interesting. The beam is the most potent, however, it lacks the necessary level of focus to be truly effective. Tomorrow I will try again. Additionally installed a countermeasure. The luminous flux must become even stronger. Let's try an experiment. Guys, we have reached a new location which is our favorite and beloved. This is the northern reservoir. We have already enlightened here with a flashlight. There will be something to compare, so I'm taking a flashlight and will burn. We'll cut skyscrapers, the water surface. Mall refill, please? Yes, that's correct.
I am incapable of reading your thoughts. I captured an animal that I found during my endeavors. Shining. In my opinion, I believe that he is up to something and there is a sense of suspicion surrounding his actions. What is your opinion of the flashlight designed specifically for men, gentlemen? Do you like it? Allow the cannon to cool down. Currently, it requires a period of 15 minutes to cool down completely. Prior to making any modifications to the location, it is important to consider the potential impact. Wow, I can feel the heat here. And here's a comparison with a mega flashlight of 10 kilowatts, which we did with Igor a long time ago. The comparison is not valid because it was filmed with a bad camera. Here's how it shines. Now we have made the decision to reach extremely far houses from a significant distance. It must be fascinating. There they are in their own house, surrounded by their friends. Oleska is going to show the beam now. Oleg is going to launch a beam from the end of those glowing columns. Right from the extremely, incredibly early stages of the settlement, starting from the very, very beginning, the journey commenced. Heat's on. Oh. The situation is causing me a great deal of pain and anguish, and it is having a detrimental impact on my well-being. Friends, yesterday I was unsatisfied with the beam, specifically its focusing. He hit with a triangle. Today I redesigned the structure and installed the lamp in a vertical position. The lamp is firmly attached to the bottom to the negative, and here she has a free move. This is in case there is thermal expansion, so that the lamp is able to move back and forth. Now let's see what we have with the focus. In my perspective, based on the info at hand, it is my belief that what is truly necessary in this situation is exactly what has been previously mentioned. So a lethal number. The guys opted to shoot from above to see the outcome and assess how it turns out. Found a private sector here. Oleg is already calling. We will start now. We have received the instructions. I sincerely hope that we have a clear understanding of each other. So buddies, let's get the ball rolling. Right here is where it really shines and captivates our attention. I am unaware of the exact number of kilometers that exist or something of that sort. Observe. People hold the perception that the morning has indeed arrived and the new day has begun as they believe it to be. There he is, a ray of light. It hits right here in this exact spot. Guys, we discovered an amazing location. We are currently in Alexandrovka, enjoying the breathtaking view of the Don River. Let's attempt to provide illumination on water and to the best of our ability. Here is the altitude and an extremely convenient angle. Complete exposure. Terrible flash. Reshoot, guys. We want to enlighten. Don't know how far it will reach. Here is most likely a couple of kilometers, maybe even 510. Let's wait and see. We want to jump over the Don River. So. Vessels can be seen by the naked eye. Let's move on to the next point. Remember to look up towards the sky above. Increase the altitude. Go higher and reach new, unprecedented levels of elevation. Field, field, field. The entire field is brightly illuminated and it is located approximately two to three kilometers away. Wow, just amazing. It's going, there it goes. 
Are you planning to attend the event? Will you be going there? Radiate your inner light with yellow. Oh, laughter. There is a very strong desire to illuminate the clouds completely and thoroughly. Very strong desire. You have no idea, friends, how much we've been struggling with this already. This seems like a really good location. I think we should definitely give it a try and see what it's like. That is it, the cosmic ray. Let us observe and analyze. Oh yeah! It is piercing through. It is clearly visible through and through. The piercing sensation is undeniable. The visibility is evident from every angle. There is no doubt about it. The piercing is penetrating. The visibility is unobstructed. It is impossible to miss. The piercing and visibility are both unmistakable and undeniable. Gloomy. Guys, you promised to enlighten the clouds. You fulfilled your promise. We are taking a risk as rain is dripping. Just one drop and the lamp will explode.